Boom. The Fisher Space Pen. There it is. Oh, nice. Nice weight. Some raw brass. The color will change eventually. With the grommet stopper. Another known daily carry. The Caveco Lilliput. And it looks like they're the same size. This is aluminum. This is raw brass. The Caveco is a little bit smaller posted. First right. This is a ballpoint with a pressurized cartridge. Jeez, two R's. What's <laughs> up with me doing R's? I've been using this thing for four days or so. This is the patina. It's gained. Force the patina. Let's do that. It's all dirty because I eat here. I'm sorry. So I left it overnight. This one is the most expensive of the bullet pens. You guys ready? Oh, this thing is... Oh, damn, a box in a box? Oh, I'm surprised it didn't come in the... Whoa, look at this. It's actually lighter than this one. It's one of the biggest gripes about this pen is how you have to press pretty hard to write to make a solid imprint with this did some research turns out these are able to fit in here so let's go ahead and switch them out so here it is with a gel pen oh geez it's not gonna write underwater you're not gonna be able to do some shading like with ballpoints but this gel pen is just Please, look at this. Two dollars for two refills. This one here has ridges, whereas this one does not have ridges. Which adds a nice texture to it. 